Hello and welcome to another WordPress tutorial. We are covering today how to edit a WordPress page or a blog post. Uh, so pages or blog posts. This uh, tutorial will be pretty darn easy, I think you'll find. Um, but essentially after you've logged into your WordPress site, you're going to most likely be redirected to the dashboard region, which is what, what you see here. Um, and one method to edit pages or posts is just going through the back end here, clicking on it, and either clicking the title or the edit option. Either way will work. And uh, of course you could swap things out, changing out the title, changing out the body content. You could do the usual preview changes before you publish uh, while you work on the page. Uh, and of course you hit the magic blue update button to publish your changes to the web. Uh, that's one method. The uh, more, uh, I think, more simplistic method is to do it from the front end side. So if you are um, logged in, you'll be, you should have this administrative toolbar here, this gray bar that kind of follows you around as you move the page, not this part, but this part. And you'll have this edit page option regardless of the page you're sitting on. So you just simply go to edit page and you go straight to the back end of that page and you can edit right there. You still have that view page option to go back to the front end if you decide to go somewhere else. That's kind of a quick way to get back to the front end and get to another page that uh, needs editing. Um, but it's as simple as that. And for blog posts, it's the exact same way. You just go to the back end. You can do edits right here, uh, just like a page. It works all the same. You can view the posts. And you can, uh, if you're already in front end mode on a particular blog post, you can edit the post, simple as that. Some websites will have these little buttons here that say edit this post or edit this page. Uh, it just depends on your theme. Um, but you can of course click, if it's available, you click on that and you can go right into the back end pretty simplistically. All right, so I hope you found this uh, tutorial informative and useful. If you did, please hit the like button and also uh, leave your comments or questions down below, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks so much for joining us.